Hey, everybody. Welcome to this month's episode of the Work With Purpose podcast. I'm your host, Randy Mahoney Jr., and I'm excited to be with you this month. Our topic for our episode this time is called The Autumn Adjustment. I'll share with you more about that in uh, just a minute. But if you're new to our show, we are a seasonal career podcast, and we usually publish episodes on the first Friday of the month. And the goal of our show is that we want to provide you with real life, practical career information um, that can give you education and encouragement to help you in your career and to try to do all that in the span of 20 to 30 minutes um, every month that we publish episodes during the time that we are in um, our seasons. So again, like I said, our topic for this month's episode, it's called the autumn adjustment. And so I wanted to bring uh, this topic in front of you, the idea of an autumn adjustment, just because with the changing season of the year, now that we are uh, right into the autumn season or the fall season, um, I thought that it would be good to give you a chance to stop to pause from the year that you're currently in and really reflect and evaluate just to, to bring you in front of a rhythm like that. And just to, if anything, just to get you to think about uh, stopping intentionally and pausing and evaluating to see how your year is going. And now before we get into our topic a little bit more, I want to give you this month's uh, episode's big idea. Now, again, if you're new to the show, I usually try to start each episode by giving you a big idea or a one or two sentence takeaway that can kind of get you uh, to remember the main idea of this episode. And this month's big idea is this, that it doesn't matter how you started this year, you can always stop, evaluate, and adjust. I'll share that to you one more time. It doesn't matter how you started this year. You can always stop, evaluate, and adjust. So this idea about the autumn adjustment, like I shared at the start of our episode, with the new season of the year entering into the fall time, it brings with it, uh, just like the start of the new year does in January, it brings with you another time to stop, pause, and reflect to evaluate how has your year gone so far. Have you liked it? How have you not liked it? What's been good? What's been bad? And you have a chance to think about how do you want to keep things the same? How do you want to adjust? What changes do you want to make? Um, so that's really what, what the idea of this autumn adjustment is. A chance during this fall season for you to pause, for you to stop, for you to reflect um, on things like your career goals, to reflect on your personal goals, your life goals, because uh, work is an, an important aspect of who you are, your career journey, your own career development, but it also is only one segment that makes up who you are as a human being. I would share with you from my own experience, um, you know, developing my own goals, uh, growing in my own career and personal development, uh, having some sort of rhythm for pausing and reflecting like this, whether it's uh, in January or in January and in the fall or three times a year or what have you, you deciding what that rhythm is is really up to you. But the important thing that I would encourage you to think about is that the world we live in, it's always changing technologically. It's always moving faster. Uh, there's so much research out there about uh, four-day work weeks, 10-hour work days, different, different industries are changing all the time. So uh, the idea of pausing intentionally and reflecting and thinking about the long-term trajectory of your life and, and even your well-being in the midst of that is becoming more and more not the norm. So I would tell you any step that you can take to pause, reflect, and, and adjust course if you need to as you go throughout uh, a given year is going gonna, is gonna to help you in the long term. There's a case for pausing and reflecting and evaluating how your year has gone uh, and have you liked the results. And if you've not liked those results, thinking about what specific things are you going to change so that you can get a, a better result, a more positive result, and you defining what that is by uh, the end of this year. So a couple of things um, that I thought about that um, could help you understand this topic a little bit more rather than just talking about um, you know, what this autumn adjustment idea is. Um, I wanted to share with you a couple of reasons why it's important to, to take a pause like this, uh, why to do it, and then to give you a couple, um, a couple reasons how to do it. Okay, so we'll talk about that next. Why to do an autumn adjustment, and then a couple of reasons how to do that.
Welcome back to the Work With Purpose podcast. This month, our topic is all about something we are calling the autumn adjustment or a chance to intentionally stop, pause, and reflect during this autumn season of the year, evaluate things, and consider making some adjustments or some changes to our work life or different aspects of our life so that by the time you get to the end of this year, uh, hopefully you, you can see some more positive results and some more uh, successes. With this back half of our episode, I wanted to start to get into a couple more resources of some things you could try to help you uh, to help you uh, take this autumn adjustment seriously and really engage in that, and also talk a couple more uh, reasons why an intentional pause like this is important. Our world today, it's moving faster and faster every single day. Technology is is changing rapidly. The state of uh, our industries and workforces are changing. There's a there's an unspoken rule of always needing to always needing to be connected to your phone. We've got work coming at us on our smartphones, on our tablets, on our devices. I shared with you at the start of our episode the decision to intentionally stop, pause, and cease like this is not the norm. So let's move right into the next uh, the next section here. Why take a pause like this? Why do this autumn adjustment and add this type of rhythm? into your life. Well, a couple of reasons that, that I thought this could be helpful for you. Number one, an autumn adjustment could help you get clear in a new season of the year. What could this uh, autumn adjustment help you get clear about? It could help you get clear about your career as a whole. It could help you uh, give you some time to, uh, as an example, if you are not in a job or an industry that you like at this point for one reason or another. It could give you a chance to stop long enough to think about what could be, to imagine a new option or a new way forward or a new path ahead for yourself. Also, you could have some time to imagine how you could improve on your current situation. Usually, uh, in my, my experience advising others about their career development, sometimes I'll, I'll be talking with somebody and they'll share with me that they don't like their job or they don't like their boss or anything like that, and they, uh, they really uh, might sometimes want to make a quick decision of just cut, cut, quit their job and go somewhere else. Depending on um, your situation, that sometimes might be the most professional decision that you can make, is choose to respectfully put in your two weeks notice, work well for those last couple of weeks, and then and then do that. What I usually try to guide folks to, uh, as far as a career decision, is that uh, really think about what your long-term exit strategy is, and continue working well in the current position that you're in, but then start to possibly uh, you know connect with other professionals, conduct informational interviews, uh, look at uh, companies or job postings of interest on your own time and really kind of build that in um, so you can kind of develop that rhythm and develop your exit strategy, you working well in the position that you're in while you search out um, a next opportunity for you that's uh, that's going to be a better match for you. Those are a couple things about how an autumn adjustment season like this can help you do. It can help you stop and really get clear about what types of things are you are you interested in for your work life? An uh, example could be imagining a new career option, really getting you to stop and think about what that could be, really to dream a little bit. Or uh, number two, imagine how you can improve your situation so that if you're in a job that you may not like right now, what are some strategies that you can use to change, you know, your to change your current work experience, whether it's on your side, it's making an attitude change. Or seeing if maybe you could, as a as a short term career goal, consider transferring to another department at your at your current company, so that maybe you have a chance to uh, grow some skills that you'd like to grow eventually to move to a different industry, or uh, to move away from your current boss who might be a little more toxic in their in their leadership style or their management style to really get some physical distance from you and them. But if you keep going and going day in and day out, forty hour week after forty hour week, and you're not developing the ability to pause long enough to get to allow yourself to think about these deep questions um, it, it's going to eventually run yourself ragged and burn yourself out. So many, like, like so many people are doing right now, we're seeing the rise of this whole quiet quitting thing of um, folks working a job and being being there, but really not giving their best effort and best energy. And as a career coach, I would tell you that the world, the world really needs you at your best, at a hundred percent, serving serving other people with your skills, your talents, and your gifts. The, this whole uh, work culture, life culture of just being numb, checked out, um, working for the weekend idea—that's 
That, that's not how you have been made to be. You have been made to bring your best effort and bring your best energy to all of the aspects in your life, in your work life, but also into your family relationships, in your marriage relationships, your dating relationships, all those aspects of who you are. It's worth you doing the work that you need to do. In this episode, we're talking about pausing long enough and this season of the year to think about what those next steps could be. So that was a little bit about some reasons why to consider doing an autumn adjustment like this. Uh, really quickly, I want to move to two resources that, that I have personally used, and that's why I'm recommending them to you. I've personally used these, and I've benefited from them, and so I want to put these uh, two resources in front of you. They're two different books. Um, the first one, it's uh, by author Carrie Newhoff. Um, it's called At Your Best, um, and it's all about getting you to think about managing your energy. Uh, Not so much managing your time. Yes, that's part of that, but really getting you to think about as you go about uh, your days, uh, your work life and all the aspects of your work and into the rest of your life. How does your energy level go throughout the day? How does it kind of ebb and flow, go up and go down? And really trying to get you to think about doing what you are best at when you are at your best. And so that was the first resource I wanted to put in front of you, At Your Best by Carrie Newhoff. And then the second resource I wanted to put in front of you, this is uh, one that I actually just got done listening to this year. Um, and I think this resource is a little more uh, accessible if this is your first uh, time doing an intentional pause like this. And I think it'll be really, really helpful to you. Uh, it's a book. It's called Win at Work, Succeed at Life by Michael Hyatt and his daughter, Megan Hyatt Miller. And again, I'm sharing these resources because I've interacted with them personally, and I believe I I, I can serve you the best only from resources that I've used myself and and would recommend to you. So those two resources, again, you can find those in our application guide um, for this episode by visiting our website, www.pcast.com. Dot com. That's W-W-P-C-A-S-T dot com. Or if you're watching us on uh, on the on our YouTube channel, if you look below this video, I'll make sure those links are in our description as well. You definitely want to check those out. And then the last section of our episode, um, instead of application questions, um, like I normally do at the end of our at the end of our episodes, um, I wanted to give you just two quick things to think about, really get practical with this idea of the autumn adjustment, about how this idea of stopping intentionally and pausing and reflecting in this fall season of the year, now what what are some ways that you can kind of uh, access that or engage in that practically? So number one that I thought of was you could consider taking a vacation time or, um, or a PTO kind of time from your job and really block out a day or block out um, two days or, or a week if you need that to really pause long enough and reflect and really do some do some deep thinking, deep reflecting, goal goal setting, goal adjusting. I've said it multiple times this episode, the decision that you and I make to pause intentionally like this, it's not normal. Um, but I'm, I'm biased here and I would tell you that it should be more normal. I wish more people would do that. And maybe the step for you is to consider taking some of your PTO time, taking some of your vacation time to reflect like that. Number two that I thought of, was if the vacation day might not be possible, the the PTO day might not be possible, maybe a rhythm you try is that over the next six months, maybe you choose to protect one day of your week. Maybe it's Saturday, maybe it's Sunday. And during that day, you choose to include some time in for reflecting and include some time in to really think about where do you want the long-term trajectory of your career to be? What, where are the aspects of your life that you would say, hey, I'm doing great in, I'm hitting, all, I'm hitting on all cylinders. Where are the aspects that you can change that you can adjust? Um, so if that vacation or PTO day might not be possible, maybe you choose to protect Saturdays um, for the next six months to just to see how that does for you, to really kind of ease into that intentional pausing. Um, So those are two reasons uh, that I thought uh, could be practical for you to help you engage in this rhythm of the autumn adjustment, a chance to pause and reflect, um, to really think about how can you adjust the trajectory of your career, uh, hopefully to get you to arrive at some more successes, some really great wins, and, and a better version of yourself by the time the end of December rolls around. Really what I would want for you as you engage in this rhythm, um, I, I want you to, to engage in it as you, uh, so that you can be your best self in the best possible way. Remember, your, your life, the, uh, the work aspect of your life and all the other relationships of your life, they, they don't need a numbed out version of you. They don't need a checked out version of you. They need you being at your best all the time, running on all cylinders. 
right? They need you working in your top skills and your top gifts in service to other people, right? Helping and serving others, right? It's worth it. You are worth it. Your life is worth it. Your time on this planet is worth it. All right, so that brings us to the end of this month's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you found it helpful. hope you found it practical and it meets you right where you are. That's my goal with each one of these episodes. Um, so if you liked this show, like this episode, I would love it if you would consider leaving us a rating or a review. On You can do that on a couple different places. If you visit our uh, website, wwpcast.com slash feedback, you'll have a chance to uh, have some different links for how you can do that. When you leave a rating or a review for our show on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're engaging with this uh, with this material, that helps new folks find our show, gets our gets our ideas out in front of new people. So we would appreciate it. If you found this relevant and helpful, please consider leaving us a rating or a review. Also, remember, um, with each of these episodes, we publish a free application guide. So if you want to get a copy of that, visit our website, wwpcast.com, and you can get your copy of uh, the application guide for this month's episode. And uh, one last thing, if you want to keep the conversation going, I would invite you to connect with our private Facebook group. It's called the Work With Purpose Community. That's a chance where you can share your ideas uh, really easily for upcoming episodes, for upcoming topics. Uh, You can engage with us there. So if you go to facebook.com and you search for the Work With Purpose Community, that's how you can engage with us there. All right. Well, thanks so much for engaging with this month's episode of the Work With Purpose podcast. Until our next episode, my name is Randy Mahoney Jr. And remember, you've been made with purpose, so work with purpose. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the Work With Purpose podcast here on YouTube. If you found this episode helpful, if it encouraged you, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon here on YouTube so that you can stay in the know when we update new episodes and that you don't miss a thing. Also, be sure to check out our website at wwpcast.com. That's kind of our home base for everything. So until next time, I'm Randy Mahoney Jr. telling you to work with purpose.